So how can you or you and your team adopt AI or machine learning tools into your workflow? I'm going to get into that in just a second. First of all, I'm Adam with Oasis Optimization. And if you'd like help with your email marketing, with your sales funnels, with any automation, feel free to reach out. You can find me at oasisoptimization.com. Now, let's talk about adopting these tools into your workflow. And we should back up a step, really, and talk about this from a productivity and time efficiency standpoint. First of all, if you're not sure how or why you want to be doing this, then don't do it, right? This is kind of the shiny object syndrome, right? Where we get uh, distracted by these things that seem like they're going to solve a problem, but sometimes we don't even have a problem <laughs> and we go looking for solutions, right? I know that could be the case maybe um, for certain software tools we want to use or, you know, we buy things for the office. So that's the first step is just to make sure, hey, do I have a real need for this? Is there a pain point that I'm trying to solve? So assuming the answer is yes, then the next step would be to get uh, uh, input from the people involved with it. So again, if it's yours, that's great. This is a little easier. You can have a conversation with yourself. If not, you know, and it's a small team or a big team, get the people who are going to be using the tool, who are responsible for the results and ask them about it. Do you understand your workflow or their workflow and how it currently works? And then again, what is that pain point? What is this tool going to solve? So I've got other videos you can look on the channel for talking about AI tools that are currently out. And this is clearly going to change quickly as time goes on. Uh, but you can find out more about those and what they can do. For the most part, I'm talking about content, generated, content generation tools, uh, things that will help you come up with maybe blog post ideas or SEO metadata or for an e-commerce store, the product descriptions, um, or even more than that. It could be ideas or full text for some of this stuff. Okay, but from there, what you should do is make sure that it's going to give you a better result, right? So what I would do is consider running in tandem if you can, or at least have a metric in mind of how are you going to say whether or not this is better. It could be, let's say you're using it solely for emails. You could start and monitor, okay, we're going to switch to the new platform, make sure we understand um, in the old way of doing things, what were our open rates? Maybe, you know, what was revenue from the emails, you know, general sentiments and go ahead and switch. And we're saying, okay, we're going to, you know, come up with ideas based off of one of these AI tools. Okay. Well, let's monitor it for 30 days. Are we seeing changes? Is it good? Is it bad? Having that metric allows you to actually say whether or not something happened instead of just doing it. And then saying, I, we think this worked because we didn't hear anything or, you know, something along those lines. So having a, a trackable metric, right? It's kind of like having a smart goal. It's going to be specific and measurable. So that's a really good one. And then internally for yourself or for your small team, again, is this helping, right? Does it create any additional roadblocks? Um, you know, anytime you're using a new tool in the workflow, you're probably going to have some hiccups. So that's to be expected. And just remember to, you know, take the time, work out the kinks, and then have some sort of metric to see, yes, is this objectively, is it helping us or not? And if it's not, that's fine. You tried something, move on. And if it is helping though, great. Is there anything we can do to leverage to get more results like that? So I think if you followed that process, that will definitely help you. Um, and then just keeping on top of it, maybe talking to other people who are using this, whether, you know, it's part of a Facebook group, whether it's people near you, or, you know, it's just evaluating with yourself. Hey, is this really helping me? And keeping your eyes out, maybe, you know, allowing yourself once a week or so to go out and check out the tools that are out there. Because I don't know about you, but with myself, when I go out and I've spent too much time looking around, I've got to pull myself back and just say, okay, you know what? Don't want to get in that mode of just looking uh, for something to solve or something that will solve a problem I don't have yet. Got to pull back, make sure I'm not doing that all the time. So again, if you'd like help with email marketing, your sales funnels with automation, feel free to get in touch with me. You can do that at oasisoptimization.com.